everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck, and I am your host. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, well, hit that like button too. Give us a big thumbs up. And I'm going to thank you all in advance. But, well, I hate to say it, but summer is officially over. That's it. Summer's gone just like clockwork, and it makes me a little sad because summer is my favorite season of the year. There's a lot of fun to be had. I always have a lot of fun while we're boating on the lake, doing a little garage drinking, and there's always just, you know, a whole bunch of good summertime brews to try out. But what can you do? It happens. But on a positive note, to keep you happy, well, summer may be out, but autumn is in, baby. Autumn is in, and this episode this is the first episode of the fall harvest season. And with that, being that we are, you know, in the beginning of the fall harvest season, what does that mean? That means that we are smack dab in the middle of Oktoberfest. And really quickly, if any of my viewers would like to know a little bit more of Oktoberfest, the actual event, please feel free to check out my blog because I did a big post on the history of Oktoberfest and the origins of Oktoberfest and how it all started way back when. You know, good times. But anyways, back to the beer. What are we reviewing? Well, we are starting the autumn season party right because we are tasting and reviewing an Oktoberfest. Can't get that wrong, but here we go. Well, the Oktoberfest that we're tasting is straight out of Germany, baby. Straight from Germany. And it is from Eyinger Brewing, and they are located in the city of Eying, Bavaria, Germany. So let's grab the bottle. So this is it. The Eyinger Oktoberfest. So this beer is an Oktoberfest Marzen, and this beer clocks in at 5.8% ABV. So without further ado, I'm getting going. I'm doing it. We're popping the top. We're having some fun. Here we go. Boom, boom. One, two. Ooh, a little bit of smoke. And since it is Oktoberfest, we need the Stein. We're drinking out of the Stein today. This is it, the German Stein. Yeah, I could, well, I could, I, that's all I'm gonna pour in here, even though I could probably pour about four of these bottles in this uh, big Stein. But uh, let's look at the color if I can. And what do we got color wise? Well, we got the perfect Oktoberfest color. We have that caramel esque dark burnt orange, not super dark, but just dark enough, and just a little bit of foam on top that has a slight caramel-esque hue to it. But let's give this a swirl, and let's see if we can nose this bad boy out of this stein. Let's see. Uh, I'm sure we can. We can get some aromas off this, but uh, let me swirl, swirl, swirl this away. And uh, yeah, let's give this one a nose. Here we go. Nose number one, baby. Oh, yes, indeedy. That does have a nose of an Oktoberfest. We are getting some slight sweet caramel. The malt, the cereal grain, some sweet malt coming through. And it is rounded out by those doughy notes. It's simple, but it's got really, really good balance. But uh, as I'm swirling this, it's going to open up. It's going to warm up just a hint. And uh, here we go. Prost to Oktoberfest. Prost, prost, prost. Yay, 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 Sip number one, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mama. Mmm. Well, first and foremost, medium-bodied beer, but it is on the lower end of a medium-bodied beer. However, Flavor-wise, what are we getting? Very similar to the nose, but I'm going to foreshadow it. I'm going to precursor. Great balance on this beer. Great, great balance. One more quick sip, too. Mm. What do we got? Some of that slight sweet caramel is coming through. But those malts, the cereal grains, the malt is just coming through, and it's just coating your whole mouth. I mean, it's coming through so nicely. It's so rich and it's nice balance. Um, and then, once again, it's rounded out by those doughy notes. However, we are also getting just a slight, slight, slight hint of hay is also coming through. I mean, look, this is, 
It's just a great beer. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's it's a staple Oktoberfest. The balance is spot on. The nose is spot on. Um, the flavor palette is spot on. The aromas are good. I mean, what would I give this on the pint of beer? I mean, I'm going to give this beer one more big sip, and then I'm going to give you my rating. Hmm. Well, that was a little sip. But I think on the pint meter, I'm going to give this beer a 9. Absolutely. I'm giving this beer a 9. Yep. I really don't have any complaints about this beer. Um, maybe, maybe what I could say. Not really complain. Not really a complaint. Um, the mouthfeel. The body, the weight of the beer. Uh, I wish it was just a tad, tad bit lower. Um it's, weight, it's weighty enough, like I said, where it is a medium bodied. I just wish it was dialed down just a hair. But uh, hey, they know what they're doing. I'm not, I'm not going to argue that fact. You know, I injure, they've been around since 1878. So 130 years, give or take, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not arguing their beer, beer making skills. But on that note, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm taking one more sip. And prose to Oktoberfest. And with that, I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and you can always follow me at the websites, www.pubsapapintin.com, or the blog, www.pubsapapintin.blogspot.com, and please check out my post on Oktoberfest. And uh, with that, I am raising the Stein here. The Stein is raised, and we will see you all in the next episode. So raise that Stein. Cheers, prost, and enjoy.